Welcome back everyone to Let's Play World Waves as Austria-Hungary, episode number 21. Finally, some peace for our poor war-torn nation. Uh, and now it's definitely time for us to get some retrofitting done. I ran into an interesting, so I actually started retrofitting, uh, I just did the Franz Ferdinand. I didn't, the reason why I didn't really show that is because I didn't do anything. She didn't have central firing, so I upgraded that, but everything else remains the same. In fact, that's kind of the story with everything. The only upgrade that's really worth doing is for the Monarch, if I was to open this for rebuild. We can actually get 12 inch quality zero guns. And why is that? Because if you remember, we have never researched better 12 inch guns. The reason for that is because this ship is built at the British dockyards. And since they have access to quality zero, by extension, these do as well. I'm not sure, that like, does seem like a bit of a bug. If you're, um, like, does that mean we have to send them back over to Great Britain? I mean, I guess so, but maybe it's something to think about then. Maybe you should build your ships <clears throat> in your homeland, but the retrofitting doesn't take that long, and especially because we actually have a peace agreement with Great Britain. It wouldn't be a huge deal for us to actually send our ships back over there, because it's very unlikely that we will be going to war with them um, especially in like the year it would take to retrofit. So what I'm going to do is just retrofit the only the obsolete ships. Certainly the minesweepers are extremely easy to retrofit. I never change anything. Just keep it exactly how it is. That'll probably be the design that we use for the entire rest of the game. So we will rebuild all these. And uh, you can see that it didn't affect our budget. So that's because these ships have low maintenance and we didn't do anything which would increase their maintenance, so basically they're exactly the same cost whether you're um, supporting them. This is but just their maintenance cost. We don't need to upgrade the Panther yet because 1906 and we're only in 1908. So we need to get the St. The Saint George needs some upgrades. I'm certainly willing just for one ship, such as the St. George fine ship that she is, to spend a little bit on improving her. Of course, I don't think there's really anything we can do. What is replace? I'm probably going to cancel this, but let's just see what this would do. Oh, God. I mean, that's actually really significant. <laughs> significant enough for us to load it up with four more guns. At a really significant cost, though. So I think we're probably okay with the six guns that we already have. Yeah, I mean, I know that she's a hero ship, but mm, we should be reasonable. I think that's a little unreasonable. Yeah, so for now, I think we're just going to do uh, nothing with her. Just give her the central firing, and that means that she's still totally fine. So we'll save, and yeah. That is interesting. If we did the retrofit, I think you can change the range. But we can't change... Freeboard. No, we cannot change the range even. Okay, so uh, we'll just go ahead and do... I wonder, I, I, I'm kind of interested in seeing what other people would do in this situation. Her main damage is still going to come from her 9-inch guns. 4 9-inch versus 6 6-inch. Six yeah, okay, I'm still content to keep her exactly how it is. This is not going to cost a whole lot. That's the best thing about it. So, uh, yep. We'll keep it just like that. Monthly cost will be 250. That's basically only slightly more expensive than her current maintenance. So that's not bad. Um, we have light cruisers, which we'll probably need upgrades soon as well. Because they are from, yeah, they're from the beginning of the war. So let's just go ahead and do that as well. Get these guys central firing, which means they'll have to lower their ammo by one. And I imagine there's nothing more we're going to do. Turret 2.5, turret top 2. This is all fine. This is all just just fine. <clears throat> so yeah, I guess we'll just save that immediately. I mean, this is one where you could consider replacing the machinery and attempt attempting to increase the speed. But it's so expensive to do. And I think that the money that we would spend upgrading these is just much better spent on a new light cruiser class. Yeah, I, I, I think that that's what we'll do. 
cell will still give you the better firing and just very cheap rebuild cost. Okay. These are the ones that we are going to be sending abroad anyway. Oh, okay, so we have to make sure we don't... We have to send one St. George II to the West Africa Sea Province before we um, absorb the Hegelon into our refit program. Yeah, but our, our monthly budget does not change very much, which is good. That's what I like to see. Rebuilding these ships, but not really at the cost of our budget. Excuse me. I think what I'm looking to do eventually is to build, and the next thing we want to build is probably a light cruiser, but also a battleship. Because even these new battleships we've built, the Bobenberg, I think of these mostly as a replacement for the couple of battleships that we lost. But not, but not really a mainstay. I mean, c considering 1910 is coming up, by 1910 I want to have not just an old dual turret battleship. And we definitely have the crossfire, cross deck fire technology, which we got, we just, it would be absurd for us not to take advantage of that. <clears throat> now these are pretty good ships there, that they do go 20 knots. And they are extremely heavily armored. 11 inch, 12 inch turret, compared to the Monarch, which is only nine and a half and 10. So there's still a good craft and we, I guess we still have a bug. Oh no, this is actually legit. So these actually have that many stars, <laughs> but these ships don't have the stars. Okay, that's good. It's nice to see it's not bugged right now. Yeah, and we have this one Leonardo da Vinci class, <laughs> which is just a fun ship to have around, I guess. She is only for anti... Oh, is she... I don't like this ship at all, to be honest. Such low armor. She is good at damage output, but low armor... And, uh, you know, part of her damage output is these 9-inch guns. But we don't pay that much in maintenance for her, so... Oh, she's the reserve fleet. Well, let's send her to active fleet. That's gonna... Yeah, that's gonna cost a pretty penny. But that's fine. We probably could get away with sending everyone to reserve fleet for now. But I, I'm not gonna do it. Okay. So it's good to know she's 290. So let's go to the next turn. Well, yeah, we'll take that. Still no um, medium range submarines. Mm -hmm. Okay, nothing interesting. Now that we have two in West Africa, we can upgrade this guy. It's only gonna take three months. Those will be done so quickly. So the one we have, oh, is this because it's still halted? Uh, well, glad I saw that now. A Little bit late, so it's gonna actually take away the budget we now have for retrofitting, but that's okay. Oh, I wanted to take a quick break just to examine how other nations are doing. Okay, so this is us on the far left. If we take a look at the battleship category, that means the top three, because these are all the capital ships. Um, the only nation we're doing better than is Italy, which makes sense because we just defeated them. Um, even Russia has a superior number to, number to us. And not only that, but they have a superior number, which includes... Dreadnoughts and battle cruisers. I mean, they're, they're currently being built, but let's actually take a look at the ships every nation has, in fact. So Great Britain has a few six 14-inch guns. That's extremely formidable, I would say. <laughs> the name is the Caesar class, but that's a formidable um, battleship. Uh, and they are building some more, the Implacable class, at 25,000 tons. Oh my gosh, that reminds me, I absolutely have to upgrade my dock size. Okay, let's go back. Which ugh, came at a bad time, unfortunately. That means next turn, if we don't gain any more funds, we'll have to start pausing some ships again. Okay, so next up, let's see, they have a lot of battle cruisers, but their battleships all go only 18 knots. So the good news is we would kind of be able to run away from these. They're very slow. And the rest of their like dual tour, dual turret battleships are insignificant to us, we don't really care. Do we have access? Yeah, okay, nine inch belt, fine. Camp down, seven inch belt, pathetic. So n nothing we need to worry about. France, they're also getting into the capital ship building, but a little bit late to the game. 
like us. This one seems interesting. That's a pretty good ship. But again, only 18 knots. So I'm not worried about, I'm, I plan on getting our battleships at 20 knots, which means they will be faster than all of these. Yeah, it's, well, we've yet to see, yeah, they even the um, dreadnoughts that the British Navy has only go 18. Italy, we don't really need to worry about her. In fact, the fact that I took that Leonardo DiCaprio, or Lee, sorry, <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio, yes, the famous actor teleported back in time, um, the Leonardo da Vinci class, I might scrap her. I'm really thinking about it because I don't like that ship at all. I'm just going to do it right now. How much money do we get from it? Yeah, just like a million. That's fine. Basically, we scrapped her to aid our dock size increase. I just didn't think she was a very good ship. So I'll take her in just immediately. Hopefully, we didn't overall lose money. I don't know how many months it's been since the war ended. Probably we lost money with her. But, oh well. I should have just scrapped her right away. Okay, so let's see Russia. Now, Russia's possibility... Oh, we'll have to get to Germany. Germany's the real tension... Um, king right now. Although this is so low, it's probably not worth mentioning. They have a lot of new ships incoming. And they actually have a few 20 knot battleships. That's impressive, but very low armor, only 11 inch guns. Okay, that makes sense. So I'm pretty happy. I think that overall, our nation stacks up very well, um, especially if our only objective is to hold the Mediterranean, which that is the main objective. We're going to have to send a lot of our heavy cruisers over to West Africa and also into doing raiding action. That's mainly what I want them to do. I want my St. George's who have performed so well. I'm hoping that the St. George 2 just really is more of the same. And I'd really, I, like the idea is send them in and even like they first and foremost, they're going to be doing merchant raiding. But the more important thing here is if they get engaged, they should win those battles. So if I'd, even if they don't bring in a main fleet to the Mediterranean, which I have to protect with all my battleships, we hope to win those um, conflicts outside of the Mediterranean just by wearing them down with heavy, you know, defeating heavy cruisers. Of course, the main problem with that is battle cruisers, who will, who definitely will be able to track down my St. George twos. Actually, their speed of 26 is maybe a little bit faster than battle cruisers, but if it's only one knot or two knot, um, the battle cruisers will probably have enough time to damage them and slow them down. So, I think we should extend. Yes, absolutely, a hundred percent. Yes, a thousand times. Yes, <laughs> we want a, an agreement with them. The curious thing is, why did they want an agreement with us? <laughs> okay, so now we need to pause the construction again. Of which one? Oh yeah, the 12th, okay. So hull construction here. And that's gonna be perfect. I don't think there's any other changes that we need to make right now. Yeah, very good, so push on. Oh, that's very nice. Okay. Good. Very good, very good, very good. Lots of stuff, okay. More machinery saving. And I don't think there's anything important here. Okay, Russians have quality negative one for 13 inch. We just need a little bit of money saved before I can start building uh, a new battleship. <clears throat> wow. Um. Geez, what's my prestige up versus... I really don't think we can afford the budget hit. And I don't really care about international understanding. <laughs> That's such a callous remark, but yeah, come on. Who cares? We need that money for battleships. And it would be nice if our unrest level would go down. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it has... We've been at three since the beginning of this episode, at least. Oh my gosh. This is always difficult. They give you money to do it, but 14 additional cruisers. The reason why I'm considering this, instead of just immediately declining, 
is because I was thinking about getting more cruisers. However, this is going to hamstring our ability to build battleships. Budget minus. This is nothing. Budget and prestige. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to do it. And I think I'm going to do it with this in mind. We can make a very cheap light cruiser. I'm going to make this light cruiser specifically for foreign stations. So just in case we capture more territory down the road, which means what I'm going to do is make it short range. That's going to save a lot of money. So let's go ahead and do it. I don't really care about the prestige, but the budget is useful. So let's go ahead and design our new light cruiser. So the first thing I'm going to do is try to get short range out of this. Speed of 26 is fantastic. I think we're still working off a deck of 1.5, which means we can probably lower this down even more. We'll finagle the numbers in a second. I don't want secondary turrets. Yeah, this is not what I want. So let's clear these turrets. I mean, I'm going to want those exactly where they are, but can we do double turrets on these? I don't think so. Let's find out. Yeah, we can not, which is what I expected. So let's clear. Single. Okay, A, Y. Now we just probably just put them everywhere. Um, oh, we can do forward center. I wonder how many... One of these is, I think, the midship one. Absent line. What, are the, what is this? Okay, I, I get it. A maximum of three, but just update the graphic. Yeah, so I don't like this C turret anyways. So what we'll probably do is have this one facing the rear. So we'll take Y. Let's clear again and just go with A, this and W. Perfect. Oh, that's F superimposed. I, I was using the wrong one anyways. From there, we'll just line it up. We'll get D, E. You know what? F, G, H, I. How are we looking now? <laughs> Very formidable towards the front. <laughs> Can we actually do this? This seems like too many. Yeah, it's overweight, but it's doable. That's That's pretty cool. Maybe we should even add more, um, I think we will. We'll add even more of those. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a six-sided, six-inch broadside. That's pretty darn good. That is pretty darn good. I really like this. I really, really, really like it. Of course, I have to remember, with this, the whole mission here was to make this thing um, cheap is a five-sided six inch broadside going to be much worse um yeah because we have to take the weight down quite a bit because i definitely want i definitely want to decrease um the cost and i do not want to decrease or increase my displacement how much does this net for us wow so we go down to 25 this is actually a ship worth keeping now mind you this means that they won't be able to escape from anything and I don't like that. We need them to escape from at least heavy cruisers and battle cruisers, which means 26 is just, it's really the minimum that we can get. So I think we'll have to eliminate two turrets. I'm going to go ahead and eliminate these two. Delete. Delete. So still a five-sided broadside, which is pretty good. This is just a, a holding ship, I have to remind myself. So we don't. Actually, we may want colonial service for this then. It's doable, but I don't like colonial service. You know, it counts, it increases how much these count as foreign tonnage. But for the increased space, I would rather just have another ship because they don't fight any better with colonial service. So let's do it this way. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, how much would it be to get? No, probably too much. 
Okay, well, what, what can we drop it? No, whoops, that's too much. Yeah, for sure we can't do that. We can definitely go down to 4,900. How much does that save us in money? 17, 4, 9, 4, 19. Yeah, not very much, but since I don't have any reason to keep it up, I'm just gonna do this. And, I mean, we'll keep the amount of ammo they have like way up. I feel like I'm missing something obvious. Sure, these are gonna be coal, but I know that's not ideal, but I don't think there's any reason to do anything else. Should we do belt extended? No. Impossible. Okay, fine, fair enough. Yeah, still most of the weight, we can probably go up to two point. How much does that cost? Oh, it costs so little. And it might be worth doing. How much ammo do we have to lose to get there? Okay, okay, whoops. No, not, I meant to click this. Yeah, we're more interested in just keeping this light. So let's remember that. Okay, oh, she'll have a little bit of extra weight. This is like way too much ammo. <laughs> okay. Should decrease the cost, right? Yeah, but, but so insignificant. Very good, the side class, I don't like that. Navara, okay, fine, very good. Now, it's going to cost, oh, still a lot. What? No, just, the first ship name has got to be Novara. I'm going to wait a little bit. So it says we have must have 15 building. I'm going to wait. So, okay, yeah, let's wait. In fact, yeah, I'll just let that one go. And we'll go next turn. The reason I'm gonna wait is it usually takes about six months. Ooh, they're gonna pay for it? Yeah, sure, we'll give it to them. <laughs> and we got 14 inch guns. Wow, quality negative one. Which is better though, I wonder? Quality 13, I mean quality zero, 13 inch, or quality negative one, 14 inch? So I'm gonna wait two or three more months before I begin building the rest of the light cruisers. Yeah, we'll sell anything to the Italians. Very good. Ah, we hit a dead end. That's never good. A series of swings. Okay, so let's see what this actually does now. Let's get 10 more. It's going to be 7 million. <laughs> yeah, we can't do that. So we have to wait a couple more months. Hmm. I think we will not do this. Yeah. I don't care about going to war with Italy, and I need the budget up, so... The decision was obvious. I think this is the last month that we're going to go ahead and proceed before we build the ships. Now, I think you have to, because I'm not sure when the check occurs, but I think it occurs at six months after you do the decision. They check to make sure you're building as many as you're supposed to. So let's get 10. And let's see how many we have being built right now. Let's resume this one as well. That's not so bad. It really was a smart decision to do the um, the ships the way they were. What do we have? So this one is going to be built any moment now, and that means actually, sadly, that it's going to increase the number of ships we have to keep building. That's bad. We need two more, though, to satisfy. Okay, we're doing okay. Okay, next turn. Oh, good. Additional funding. Hey, that's right on time. Oh, man, too bad we didn't have this, you know, like two months ago when we were doing the light cruiser. We could have gotten four centerline turrets, but that's just the way this game goes. It's, it's the beauty of this game, in fact. <laughs> that frustrating feeling that you're always behind. Your ships are always behind technologically. Okay, so now we have to build another one because that ship finished. And we're back to okay. Yay, okay, now now it doesn't matter what we do. So we succeeded, we passed the test. And we'll definitely buy all the technology. Better damage control, very good. Man, we're hitting dead ends everywhere. Hmm. Interesting, very interesting. I've already mentioned in the comments, somebody was asking me to build the armed merchant cruisers. I'm sorry, yeah, AMCs, armed merchant cruisers. 
And I already said I don't think we should use such underhanded tactics. So I think we're going to go ahead and do that. I don't have any desire to fight Germany anyways. They don't have anything valuable to me. I'd much rather fight Italy or Great Britain, honestly. And if I can't fight either of those two, I mean, who... It's kind of a good question. Who, who should I be going to? Oh, France. I need... Uh, Fran France is who I want to go to war with. Hands down, absolutely my number one target. Good to see that our unrest is um, dissipating a bit. And we'll definitely have to increase the dock size next turn. Okay. Um, okay, another one. Just 10% discount. We'll take it. Sure, why not? Sure, Carolina. Oh, we'll go for the win. Great Britain and I have a peace agreement. It's uh, just a gesture on our part that their allies, their decision to make um, an alliance with us was a good one. Of course. We only won that to prove that the British people made the right decision. Okay, so we're going to do this, even though it's going to really tank our are spending. We have a, a sizable dock size right now. It's pretty good. Let's compare it with the rest of the world. 30,000, 27, 26. Okay, so maybe we're a little bit behind. 30,000 and 28. Yeah, we're a little bit behind, but that's fine. We're we were always going to be the underdogs. I think this is all, all I'm going to record for this episode because we're getting up there on time. So thanks for watching. Go ahead and uh, leave your feedback <laughs> if you'd like about anything. But uh, most of all, I would say that things are going well now. I'm glad that we had this little bout of peace to get things back under control. Are we ready for another war? No. We don't have a good main battle fleet. We'd be going up against like legitimate dreadnoughts, and we only have our pre-war um, dreadnoughts ourselves. The, you know, precursors to the dreadnoughts. And that's really not a good thing. Now, enough of them in mass, we could still win, but hmm, I I mean, we would have to just turtle in the Mediterranean and use strength and numbers. It would be a lot more fun if we actually can just buy a good battleship. So, anyways, that's my plan for the future, is as soon as we have money, a new battleship. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.